Hello everyone, it's me ASMR. Welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials, and today I'll show you another tricks about the ripple paper or like torn paper, whatever you can tell. So this tutorial will be amazing for you. And let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first, going to the file from here, taking new artboard, and that is 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and RP or TP, whatever you can tell, and then hit the create button. You'll get another artboard which is the blank artboard, and after that, we'll go to the file and place embedded options. From here, I downloaded a photo which is a PNG of the torn paper. So this. Control command T make this one bigger like that. Okay, number one. Press control command J and press control command T make this one flip horizontal. Actually flip vertical. Okay, that's fine. Now flip horizontal. Okay. You can make this one a little bit up like that. So you can make this one bigger. Okay. That's good. Okay now here is three parts number one that is the down and up and middle so restylize this layer and restylize this layer okay we have three portions so number one i'll place over there number two i'll place over there and i'll make copy of that and then down side of all of things i'll input another one so going to the file and place embedded options our model image over there so make this one bigger and fit with the artboard. That's good. And now right press and restylize the layer. So upper side, press control command T, make this one a little bit of bigger. That's good. Create clipping mask. So upper portion is ready. And press control command J, take this one in the downside and right press, create clipping mask. So we got downside and upside. And now making this one group, actually control command G, so this one should be the D for the town and here is up or U. And now another things control command J I'll make copy and this should be into the all of the layer in the downside. So third bracket opening and closing it makes that the downside. Okay that's good I'm turning off this one. And now one thing is that this one press control command J and press control command T and press down arrow key. So actually this down arrow key a little bit. Okay. And upside is done and control command J and press shift and hold it and up arrow key. Actually this one the up arrow key. So we got this now time to make it black and white. So upper side should be black and white, press Ctrl or Command to Shift A, that means going to the camera filter, going to the filter and then camera filter. So from the camera filter, I'll decrease the vibrance and saturation, increase the exposure a little bit and then add some grain from the effect panel. Okay, that's good and hit OK. So downside, we made it white, black and white and upside again, same process going to the filter and camera filter. From camera filter, vibrance and saturation down, exposure a little bit up, add some green from the effect panel and hit OK. So our middle image, that means this image is colorful, upside and downside image is like um, a black and white. So here and now I'll add some effect from here, I'm going to place embedded options and here is the light effect and making this one horizontally flipped and make this one a little bit of bigger. I'll provide you this amazing filter, make this one screen mode, press Ctrl or Command T, make this one a little bit of upside or you can make this one flip horizontal, that's good and make the fill color a little bit of down. So I'll provide you the download link in every description, please check it out, that's good. And now fashion and girl, these do text controller command C and then controller command V press controller command T and place over there 
make this one a little bit of bigger or smaller and then your design is ready and after that going to the color lookup from here so color lookup and you can add any sort of 3d loops like uh, fujifilm or kodak yeah kodak is good and that's fine it it will make your photographs more aesthetic and which is really nice and amazing and easily you can ready your photo into the torn paper or ripple paper or rip paper whatever you can touch so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of questions query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video is my signing out stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers and bye bye